Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has tons of neat little hidden treasures and interactions, most of which you all have probably already seen or found for yourselves by now. But did you know that Game Freak actually gave each of the Team Star crew bosses a Pokeball to match their personalities? Starting off with Mela, she is the leader of Team Star's Fire Crew. And when you battle her, she opens up the fight with a quick ball. Within the game, she is often depicted as being hot-headed and impulsive. This makes the quick ball the perfect representation of her bold and fast-reacting nature. Next up, we have Ortega. Ortega is Team Star's fairy crew leader, and he opens up his battle with a luxury ball. Now we all know that Ortega is the descendant of a very wealthy family, and although he promised himself that he wouldn't use that wealth for himself, he is still very fond of luxurious clothing as can be seen from the costume that he wears. On top of that, he is still inclined to use that wealth in times of despair, and he would have done so, as was seen in a flashback, had his friends not been there to remind him that he promised himself that he wouldn't do such a thing. This is what makes the luxury ball fitting of Ort Ortega's personality. Third on the list, we have Giacomo. This is Team Star's Dark Crew leader, and he opens up his battle using a timer ball. He is described as Team Star's tactician or strategist, and is even said to control the whole of Team Star, second only to the big boss. Somebody as sharp as Giacomo would definitely take his time in thinking about his next move before acting. This is what makes the timer ball perfect for Giacomo. Our fourth Team Star boss is Eri. Eri is Team Star's fighting crew leader, and she opens up her battle with a heal ball. Now, Eri is often depicted within the game as the group's mom almost, or as the caretaker, often going out of her way to make sure that everyone else around her is safe, even to the extent of endangering or risking her own health. This is what makes the heel ball befitting of Eri's personality. And finally, last but not least, we have Atticus. This is Team Star's Poison Crew Leader, and he opens up his battle using a Repeat Ball. Now personally, I found this Pokeball the hardest to connect with its trainer. But let's take a look at Atticus's personality. He is very much into fashion and art, as can also be seen by the fact that Atticus designed all of the costumes worn by the bosses in Team Star. Now when you think about the use for the Repeat Ball, one of the things that the repeat ball can be very useful for is catching all the different forms of a same Pokemon. For example, if you want to catch all the different forms of Deerling or the different forms of Oricorio, or even the different forms of Squawkabilly or any other type of Pokemon such as Tatsugiri. In those cases, the repeat ball would be the most useful in collecting all these different forms, getting all the different patterns and colors of the same Pokemon, something that would be very befitting of Atticus's personality. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that the specific Pokeballs given to each of the Team Star crew leaders was intentional? Or do you think there may have been some other meaning behind them? Let me know in the comments down below. I really enjoy finding de little details like these in any game really, especially love seeing them in Pokemon. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, leave a like, share the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.